You're live. This is Elevation Radio One, and I'm your host, Pastor Steve, Music Man Turner, and we're happy for you to take the journey with us today. It's this very special day. This is a double birthday broadcast. Double birthday broadcast. Uh, can you share the spotlight? By the grace of God, we accepted a challenge by Sir David Murphy, CEO of the National Black Unity News, to uh, return to the radio airwaves after an 11-year hiatus. Elevation Radio 1 was born on April 12th of 2018, spotlighting true community warriors who uh, make their lives of ordinary people better while serving God. May 29th is also the birthday of its founder, Pastor Steve, music man Turner, that's me, who has and is battling diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disease, and near blindness. However, I'm determined to deliver this message of hope to those around the world. He has invested in you. Can you... And now return the favor. And you can do that by calling in at 1914-205-5353. That's 1914-205-5353. Our verse to rehearse is the double header, and that's Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's go right to the phone lines. I've got two calls uh, here. And uh, yeah. welcome to Elevation Radio 1. How can I help you on this other line here? I've got two Hi. lines. No, hold on a second. Okay, I'm uh, who, who's calling? Who's calling? Hold on. Who knows who's calling? Hello? Well, yes, hello. Praise the Lord, Pastor. Oh, Lord, it's Dr. Cheryl Ensley. Okay, who else is on the line? <laughs> who else is on the line? Dr. Walker. Oh, my goodness. And I think I have a special celebrity guest uh, who has something to say to me. What you have to say to me, Wait special celebrity they guest? Hold on, they hung up. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, okay. I thought Sorry, you had I'm this worked out. This is, this is my celebrity uh, co-host, my wife, Evangelist Leora Turner. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, we have we have two other uh, wonderful guests here, and, um, and I think that's uh, Dr. Valerie Walker. Is that right? No, it's just, just Valerie Doc- Walker. Okay. Hello. Okay. I understand. Hello. Okay, I hear this. Hello. We are in severe storm weather today. Thomas. Listen, if you have a, you can have an opinion. You can call in at one nine one four two zero five five three five. Steve, right. someone Come wants to say on. something to you, right quick. Come on, please. Say Who is it? it? Who is it? Say promise. Hello. Hello. Promise. <laughs> Sing happy birthday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that—that that is fantastic. <laughs> this is one of my granddaughters, uh, the the queen, the princess. Promise. Gresham, only five years young. And uh, that, out of all the phone calls I have received in this time, this is the best phone call of my life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are immortal now. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. I love you. Hey, my Papa, you love too. All right. You going to tell okay. Pop-Pop you love him? I know she does. You don't have to. You enforce her. All right. Thank you so much. Right, let's move. Promise. Let's move on. All right. Hello? And so uh, this is the birthday broadcast, and uh, we're celebrating one year anniversary of the Elevation Radio One program, and also the 57th birthday of yours truly. And uh, while there's storming outside with thunderclaps and all that, uh, we're rejoicing inside, for God has provided another year. Uh, 57. Good God Almighty. Uh, mm-hmm. Dr. Walker, can you tell us something about your, you've been a friend a long time, tell us something about your your business endeavors for a short second. 
Well, she's, I'm standing in for her. This is Evelyn Nelson. Happy birthday, Steve. Oh, so Lord. She'll, she'll be back. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. And, then, then she can finish talking about her business. But <laughs> We got to screen these he calls to, here. She had to do something. <laughs> I did not authorize or condone you calling into this program here. Uh, as you have bullied me most of my natural life work life. <laughs> this is really Dr. Walker's best uh, friend and uh, com- compadre. Evelyn Nelson, we used to work yes. in the federal government together. Yes, yes indeed. Did. Yes, indeed. Is. And uh, thank you. Okay, when you knew me when I had, I tell you, you knew me when I had hair. <laughs> yep, I did. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. I would tell you that. Uh, if you have a, a interesting short sixty second story where you have a chance, you qualify to roast me if you want. Do you remember anything crazy that that I did back in those days? Let me see. Well you you Uh-oh. were the choir director and um you always were very talented playing the playing the the organ. I remember one time you played at my church for me and Valerie. And it was uh, high time in the Lord. Okay, yeah, well, we I, had a bull roast. I, I appreciate that, a bull roast. You said a bull roast. Yeah, my church. It, it was um, Christ Emerson United Methodist Church, but it's oh, but now yeah, um, uh, Minister Lee Michaels. They have the church now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah they, uh, they, you had free food there, right? Hmm? You had free food that day, right? Yeah, we did. We did give you free food. <laughs> well, thank God. <laughs> yeah. well, oh, here's, here's, here's Dr. Walker. She's back. It's like a tag team situation. Yeah, going her, on. Name, okay. her name is Walker. Listen, don't, Walker. don't. I'll call my friend what I want to call her. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> this is my show. Thank you. Well, she's my friend too. Her name is Walker. Oh, Lord. Valerie Walker. Lord. <laughs> there you uh, go. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> bye. <laughs> hey, lovely people. Hey, Dr. Hi, Valerie. <laughs> and congratulations, congratulations on your birthday, and congratulations on the radio's anniversary as well. Oh yeah, I appreciate Thank that. You. Now, I was working so hard, I forgot it was a year. In wow. Carver. Yeah. And so my wife keeps me busy, um, you know, doing things in the church. Mm-hmm. It is storming outside, I'm telling you. I'm going to get this one in. Um, so uh, give yeah, me a shout out quickly about your, about your business. Oh, yes. I want to give a shout out to shopfreemarch.com. It's what was that again? It's an online shopping club, and it's free to join. The only thing you pay for is your products, and no uh, monthly uh, re- uh, requirements at all. Just come to the site and see for yourself. We have everything for helping people with diabetes, high blood pressure. Oh yeah. Um, you want to lose some weight? Watch all yourself now. <laughs> I'm talking about me. <laughs> yes. I got a few pounds. I got you. Yeah, well, you can, I just you can, message, you can you can go to Messenger and uh, message Leora Turner or Valerie Walker, and we'll give you more information on shopfreemart.com. Shopfreemart.com, and that's uh, thank you, uh, uh, handling California, and my wife is handling yes. uh, Leora Turner is handling Baltimore, DC, yes. and Virginia. All right. All right now. Uh-huh. Well, we appreciate that. And thank you so yes, much. Change, uh, your health, change your life. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you. And we appreciate you. Bye bye. All right. God bless you. All right. Who else do we have on the line? Who else do we have on the line? Oh, is it? I don't. I don't know if it, if I'm on or not. You on? Yes, sir. You are always on, Doctor Leroy McKenzie Jr. Always on the line, sir. <laughs> Happy birthday, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. My goodness, uh, you are uh, you are the CEO of what now? 
uh, I will be the CEO of JNF Enterprises, which is located here in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Thank God. And you help uh, old, uh, uh, aching, aspiring, uh, half blind artists, <laughs> <laughs> authors. <laughs> Thank you, sir. About that, oh but God. what I do is this. I assist um, uh, aspiring authors as well as um, seasoned authors and entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneurs and uh, uh, seasoned entrepreneurs uh, with their bringing their business to reality, whether it's through their their books or through their businesses that they are looking to um, to to do some to do branding, to do marketing, to do publishing. Uh, all of those tools that they need in order to be able to equip them to take their business to the next level. I understand that, sir. And what books have you helped me with? Uh, that would be two of your books, the two which are available right now that are out. Tell uh, about it, sir. One is <laughs> Stormproof. And the other one is the other pulpit. So if anyone is uh-huh. looking to I purchase gotcha. those books, I would I would definitely suggest these two books. Um, I think they're they're uh, uh-huh. two excellent books that will assist um, those the other pulpit, those life lessons that you talk about in there uh, that we gain uh, and that you gained in there, and then uh-huh. stormproof. Which will um, which will assist people in in being able to understand how they too are stormproof when they go through those things when they go through those obstacles in life that that seem to try and bring them down. I like it, sir. Uh, it's storming out now, so you if you want to be stormproof, I where can they go to get this book? <laughs> where, can they, where can they go to get this book here? Uh, can they go to Amazon? Yes, they can go to Amazon.com, or they can actually go to JNFEnterprises.com as well. Fantastic. Um, this, is, this is pretty awesome, Mike. I came to you with a dream and uh, a manuscript and and I had a lot of issues, and you were patiently patient with me as uh, we had to correct a lot of things. And I thank you, sir, for not throwing me out the door. <laughs> <I'm done with that. laughs> absolutely, absolutely. This brother got problems. He got issues. He's concerned. Uh, hang on, hang on in there. Hang on in there. You're, you're the you're the <laughs> you're the co you're the co celebrity celebrity uh, host here. Uh, uh, who else is on the line here? That just called in. We got another caller here from what, a prefix of five six two. We're just your faithful listeners listening to the rest of the broadcast. We just it's Valerie. <laughs> oh, a double play. Okay, I got you. We got some heavyweights on the, on the line there who are uh, business uh, icons. I got you. Let us, since this is uh, still Music Month, uh, the month of May, let's uh, see if we can find something hot to. Uh, to play here. Hold on a second. I don't know if y'all can handle this. I don't know if y'all can handle this. Watch it. Because y'all, y'all, thanks about this. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. No music. God, being the key is the hard work paid off. The love of life is a blessing. Educate yourself and you see that you're destined to achieve what you want to be. Take those things. Your life is priceless. So feel like a billionaire. Know that you're a child of God. And since you're a God, this love ain't hard to redeem. So take your breath and be blessed and know that the love of God that you door that. A whole wide world to explore. You can be like Nas. The world is yours. Take a walk outside and watch the sunset. You want to feel the love of God? How high does the sun get? God's great. God's good. I can feel the love of God in the day. But the love's so good. Oh. Watch, I had to cut it off because I know Dr. Walker was uh, getting a little bit too... She was snapping her fingers and patting her feet, and to, <laughs> <laughs> and to keep her keep her in the in the in the right frame of mind here. Uh, matter of fact, on this program on Friday, the uh, 
May 31st at 7 p.m. at 2900 West North Avenue. Uh, there will be a uh, fundraiser for the Affirmed Odyssey Group. And uh, yours truly uh, was allowed the, uh, the capacity to MC this here program. And so we're going to get a you, – you might want to hear uh, at least a snippet of the group Affirm Odyssey. Uh, isn't that right? Come on, somebody say yeah. Yeah. Y'all are missing your cues. What y'all doing? <laughs> this is the board of directors here. All right, here we go. All right. You can't be talking on the line. Come on. Celebrity co-host, what, uh, I'm here. what happened to the board? What happened to the board of directors? I'm asking Show you the question. <laughs> oh my God, y- y'all just failing at all. Listen, I need a new board of directors. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. My board has fallen asleep. <laughs> so I think I heard the chuckle oh, no. of Dr. McKenzie. Uh, sir, uh, we know that men are are always attentive and alert. So what are you thinking of, of that uh, song from the Affirm Odyssey group? Mm, I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it had a, a very um, old school sound uh, sound to it. I, thought, I mean, I liked it. There we go. We got a thumbs up from Dr. Leroy McKenzie yeah. Jr. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think I hear the rest of the board of directors coming back to life here. Uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl Hensley, what? What say thou? Cheryl did. She said, am I here? I said, yes, I was just listening. I'm just listening to everybody. Okay. Oh, we we don't want you to just listen. We want your opinion. Listening to the so music, follow- enjoying, enjoying it. Okay, so I, I guess that's two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, the full for no, some people. Ten, ten, ten thumbs up. Ten thumbs up. She only got two thumbs, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Walker, what, what do you think? I think she's ordering pizza. Like we're all on it sounds like we're all in on 42nd Street in New York. <laughs> no, no. Why is it New York City? It sounds like Jersey. 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 Is she ordering a bacon and cheese sandwich? <laughs> this is hold on a second. This is a high-profile five-star uh, uh, podcast. 
How dare you? Dr. McKenzie, can you believe this? Oh, no, thank you. Okay, that's it. Dr. McKenzie, can you believe that? Can I believe what? Can you believe that she's actually ordering uh, dinner on the line? <laughs> no, right. Oh, wow. So where are the rules and regulations in this situation? Oh, my God. <laughs> can I get some uh, real guests here who can maintain themselves? This is a professional profile here. Uh, if you would like to be a, a a serious guest here on this program, please contact me at Elevation Radio One, the number one at gmail dot com. Elevation Radio One at gmail dot com. Uh, and if you or go and look us up at www.elevationradio1.info. Uh Somebody help me, please. Okay. All right. All right. See. Uh, my my wife gave me a card today. It was very romantic. Had a lot of love stuff on it. I tell you, I can't even share it with you uh, because uh, it's too it's too it's too much. Let me uh, let me cut them off and and uh, go into uh, a fast moving song. Like this, is a, this is a praise party here. No, Jersey. Stop stop saying it. Let me just go right to the music. Uh, help me, God, please. Thank you. Excited, I tell you. I thought I saw beads of sweat come on with this project. Go ahead. <laughs> what you think of that one, Doctor? Uh, uh, it was all right. But. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't see a thumbs up. I see a half a thumb. Okay. I didn't know what it was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were speaking. I thought they were talking Swahili. Yeah, nobody, hold on a second. Nobody asked you to talk about one of my friends here. <laughs> not, I'm gonna have to ban you from this not, program. I'm not. Lord have mercy. I tell you. <laughs> let me uh, let me go uh, international because uh, some people just act funny. <clears throat> and we'll we'll talk off this off off after this program is over. Leor, my wife. <laughs> Good God money, I tell you. Mm-mm. I love you, honey. Yeah, right. Hi, 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 Shouldn't I be this? Shouldn't I hold him?
Jr., what are you thinking of? Yeah, I did like that. I like the, I like the, I like the, the, the Caribbean yeah. sound. I like that. Uh huh. So, uh, Dr. McKenzie was American born. Is that right? Say it again. You are American born from the United States, right? Yes. You uh-huh. like the Nigerian flavor? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you got a little spice in you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, Professor Cheryl Ensley, who's finally the music, <laughs> got her awake. <laughs> she had fallen asleep on the line, but she uh, woke up for that one. So what do you think about that? Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, oh, she like said that. she likes it. Oh, okay. Well, all righty. Well, she got some, uh, she got some, what's that stuff you put up in the, uh, put up in the jerk chicken? Lear? Again? Powder. Curry chicken. Yeah, so, oh. so, so uh, 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 Cheryl Inslee has got a little curry powder in her. <laughs> a little curry powder. <laughs> curry powder. I curry got, powder. Oh, I got soul in me, honey. You got what? I got some soul in me. Oh, All right okay. now. There were no problems there. Okay. And that way she felt like a little girl. <laughs> okay, that was just I'm like, yesterday. I'm, I'm like a Oreo cookie. <laughs> yeah, it's a dipped in milk. I got, I got you. No problem. <laughs> no. This is the, I'm take a commercial break here. This is going to get oh, out of hand. This is the <laughs> double birthday broadcast. And uh, can you share the spotlight? Lord have mercy. And so, call in, please help me help the host. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. I was expecting. Uh, somebody like uh, these so-called comedians in Baltimore City, like uh, Howard G, to call in to kind of roast me, but I guess he's afraid <laughs> of the music man. Uh, and I thought perhaps Jerry Royce, who's called the Batman, would want to encounter and, and, and do a versus the music man, but I see he's scared too, so it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anybody out there is brave enough... And strong enough to call in at one nine one four two zero five five three five three, and try to roast the music man. Uh, you can give it a shot. Not afraid. Bring it on. <laughs> okay. If the program has been good to you, and you've got something out of it in the course of the year that we've been on, then call in and let us know. I'm expecting some calls to come in from Wanda Jones, Warrior Queen, Elder C D Witherspoon. Yeah. Uh, is it Sir David Murphy? Where are you guys at? Yeah, I mean, this is endless. Johnny Holmes, from it's on praise. I don't want to name everybody. It would take up too much time. So uh, let me see here. Uh, I've got some CDs here to give away in the month of, month of May. So we're going to give away uh, uh live, and also uh, let's see here. Let's see, Jonathan Nelson. Now I know that. Uh, I know that Dr. Uh, McKenzie doesn't know anything about uh, Jonathan Nelson. Know about what? You don't know about Jonathan Nelson, the uh, great singer, recording artist from Baltimore. Oh, uh, nah. That's a shame. A shame. Can you believe that, Lear? Can't believe it. <laughs> a whole lot of How dare you? Hold your head in shame, sir. <laughs> we also have Todd Delaney. Uh, you just, just won a Stella Award. Don't tell me you didn't know about that. You go to a mega church, sir. You should know all all the large artists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, may I ask you a question, sir? Ask me? Yeah, I want to ask you a question. Yes, you're on the line. So. Okay. What do you do in the church that you attend at New Psalmist? 
Well, I'm a part of uh, a couple of ministries. I'm a part of the uh, Honor God Ministry and then a part of the Empowering Disciples uh, Magazine Ministry as well. Wait a minute, hold on. Did you say Empower- Empowerment uh, Disciples Magazine? Empowering Disciples, yes. Okay, what's their readership on that? Well, it's actually the church magazine. A few articles that have to deal with, you know, different issues that that Christians deal with, and then along with the different uh, different things that the church, different uh, things that the that the other ministries have going on in the church, and and of course what the you know what the pastor has going on, uh, and then we we highlight uh, other we other we highlight our members of the church too, kind of depending on what the focus is. Oh, uh, so you have to be a member of the church before you can be spotlighted in the magazine, is that right? Yeah, yeah, with that, yeah, because it, it actually focuses on, um, you know, on it, like I said, issues, but we try to use the membership of the church to get their feed, you know, get their feedback, because we may do interviews with them, we may talk with them, um, you know, certain, like I said, certain ministries that deal with um, certain aspects of the community and stuff like that, so we get their, we get their, it, their intake uh, that way. There's certain aspects of the community, well, let me ask you this question, sir. Mm-hmm. Am I not in the community? Absolutely. Haven't I been a community activist for many many a year? Absolutely. Uh huh. Haven't I dedicated my life to public service and law Absolutely. enforcement? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And uh, being an author, writing about uh, issues mm-hmm. that affect black folks. <clears throat> this is my book at actually in the Reginald F. Lewis Museum. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Do I do not not do? Um, been playing on call organists for over twenty some years around this DMV area. Mm-hmm. You know where I'm going, right? Keep, keep, <laughs> so, what, keep can, what can I way. get up and make it happen, sir? <laughs> it, uh, that's not going to happen because that's not what the magazine does. It doesn't. It doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't. How it doesn't go and 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 do. Issues that that go without that go outside of the church, of of New Psalmist Church. It deals uh, with listen. issues for members in the church, so it's not going to take outside, you know, outside community, you know, activists and and things oh, that that, that do it. Yeah, it, it only Leora, focuses on for the community. Leora, he, I mean, he just for, told me no. He just told me no on my birthday and on my program. Hey, it ain't me telling you no. I just know I'm. I, you know me. I ain't gonna shoot. I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm gonna keep it real with you. That's Let me not play a song happen. here. I feel, I feel depressed. I feel depressed here. Some encouragement. Hey. They get the face jumping, little John always want to get crunk. Then it's nothing like a beat, they can pick a snap at church and swing. I like my man, what's the rhyme? Let me do my thing. The only shit, hit them all, but the play is here. Nobody pops four guns like my girl, my dear. The only girl is here, so I'm so stop looking, listen to my man. Oh my God, let's go get fresh, I'm on a mission. If it didn't come to party, then take it down home. I'm about to hit them hard like I'm holy shalom. So allow me to introduce myself to you. I'm at the L.I. Race, we got the same thing. And we won't stop from the top, from the bottom, from the bottom to the top. Oh, I did it for the love of the king, and I did it all in Jesus' name. I'm a hit with the holy to all the gangsters. I could think you had enough of it. Hit him with the holy. Time to uplift and change. Stop the devil down, give him a pain. I'm a hit him with the holy. All the people throw your hands up. Hit him with the holy. Hallelujah, throw your hands up. Hit him with the holy. Time for the gangster lane. Like my man, Reverend Run, now you're down with the king. I'm like a phone, I'm a rapper, need to get the place jumping now. I have you something. Clean, clean-shaven people 
know about that. Uh, I'm surprised you, know, that you, you might have to get your pastor's permission to listen to kind of gospel brown gangster play. Listen, if you like that, uh, the master L I X, the master L I X, you need to call in at one nine one four two zero five five three five three. I just said one nine one four two zero five five three five three. Sound like uh, the devil. The holy, that's what it's called. Yeah, and after I was rejected and put out and not even allowed in uh, to a, a magazine from a church right across the street from my house, something wrong in this situation. The city of where I grew up in. Yeah. Uh, honey, uh, we don't I don't honey. I'm out of control. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, what was that? That play just now. That was the Masters L R X. Don't act like you don't know. Oh, L R X. That's Mr. Ronald Sample. Don't act like you don't know, because I will tell him. That's who that is. Oh my God! I never is. heard that one. He was sitting right there in the living room when he played it. Lord have mercy. I, I, don't, I, had know. No, I don't know. I did not what understand you, that at all. She was sleeping. <coughs> when you were sleeping up on a job, she'll be uh, listening to stuff and doing and stuff. Anyway, let's, let's go to the board of directors here. <laughs> not know what that was. So, uh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Because you, know, you you just following uh, your king and conqueror. Yeah. <laughs> So I really didn't know what that was. I really didn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, let me wave you off like a flag. So, uh, right. board of director, uh, Dr. McKenzie Jr., what do you think of that one? Is it hot or not? It had. Uh, why, was I, why was I hearing the Jefferson's um, theme song when I was listening to that? <laughs> you, but you, 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 you're old school. You're back in time. <laughs> that song? Did you like that? Oh, second. Let me. You can't go, go ahead of me. You can't cross me. Oh my God. You can't cross the, the, the moderator. You're just a good moderator. God bless you. I'm gonna me. Let him, don't pressure the man. <laughs> let him make up his own mind. What is your name, Dr. <laughs> Junior? Board director. I mean, anytime today would be fine. Okay, he's on the shelf. He's on the shelf. Let's go move on to the other board director member. Uh, Sister Cheryl is sleep. <laughs> yeah, the other board is <laughs> the corporate decision here. I didn't. What you said, Sister Cheryl is what? It is like you need to pay attention, huh? <laughs> you need to pay attention. <laughs> I love you, you Pastor Turner. Uh, yeah, we I love you. I think you are hilarious. You're awesome, and you're wonderful, and you're a godly man. And is this your way of not answering the question? Respect you very, very much. Is this your way of not answering the question? <laughs> Can you come off the phone, please? We need to establish rules for this program. Okay. All right, Leora, what do you, uh, board director member, what do you think? I'm not getting any cooperation. Well, I mean, what do you say? Said, what, what do you think? Is it hot? Is it hot or not? Is it hot or not? It is hot. It's hot. It's hot. That's why it's thundering. The for one, and I and I already gave you. You talking about the last song yeah. that I talked about that I said that the Jefferson? It sounded like the Jefferson. <laughs> Listen, sir, I don't need all that detailed information. You got it, right after. Asking you, go ahead and start preaching. I don't need to. All I need is to experience. I don't want to. Oh, my God. Can you do that for me? Can you help me? Yes, yes. Yay yeah, your name, my God. Why he said it's Jefferson? No, it had that beat to it. It had that 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 theme song. It had that beat to me. It that like beat sound just like that. Right. <coughs> wow. Okay. Well. Is that a yes? Okay. Is that a what? <laughs> I mean, it I, it was okay. I'll put it like that. It was okay. okay. That was fantastic. That was uh, innovative. That was creative. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. something else. Well, it was yeah, definitely said, creative. Oh, second. Okay. Let, let me let me go here since you want to talk about my friend. Friend, y'all used to that uh, that 
that uh, We're not talking aristocratic about music, aristocratic music from J.D. <laughs> at New Summers. I'm the Lord. <laughs> okay, choral, choral music. <sighs> this is hip hop, baby. <laughs> this is on the street. This is urban. Hip hop, bebop. No, not bebop. Oh, all right. I, I don't know. Listen, call in at one nine one four two zero five five three five three. One nine one four two zero five five three. I mean, it, it all has its place. Uh, you don't sing on the choir, do you, Dr. Dr. McKenzie? No, sir. Okay. You have no disability, you say? Yeah. You say you have no musical ability? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> That is certainly well, not my lane. <laughs> all right, well, thank, thank you for although your honesty. I did, although I did used to sing on the Brotherhood, but I was surrounded by, you know, fifty to a hundred other brothers, so I can I can fake it like I, like I can sing. So we have an exclusive. We have a an exclusive confession on air. So you were lip singing your way through, right? <laughs> no, I wasn't lip singing. I was singing, but you just couldn't hear me when I'm surrounded by by. 50 or 75 of the other brothers, so. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you now that your pastor, I can't whistle, will be calling you into his office probably after Sunday service. Uh, someone heard the broadcast and they let me know that you weren't putting in 100%. <laughs> Not at all. Who got, I, hey, I gave 100%. I, I just know I can't sing, so. <laughs> okay, you were swelling the numbers. Okay. Uh, Sister Cheryl, can't you uh, sing a little bit? I used to sing on a choir. Okay. But, well, can um, you? My, can voice, you... my voice is messed up, and I'm praying that the Lord will give it back to me. Okay. Uh, all things are possible. Yes, they are. I got you. But you, uh, what, what you don't do in singing, you make up for by talking. I could sing like an angel before. <clears throat> okay. Well, give me your favorite scripture. My favorite scripture? You're going to yes. laugh. Psalms 119. You say Psalms what? And Psalms 119 and Psalms 91. You can't take my Psalms 91. That's my that's my scripture. I'm sorry. I love that. Let's hear it. Read it. <laughs> Psalms 119 and Psalms 91. Okay, you want go me ahead. to read it? You want me to read no, it? No, yes. say from memory, memory. Oh, I don't know it all by memory. Oh, come on now. Okay. <laughs> Ineffective. Uh, how, how long is Psalm 119? Psalm 119 is very long. No, I don't know. <laughs> we got things to do here. Psalm 119 is, is many pages. No, sir. No, um, no. Uh-uh. 91 is different. All right. Because uh, that, that was a, a verse to rehearse today. Uh, Psalm 91. Yeah, say, say the first line with feeling. Okay. So we have a, we have a down period. Uh, let me see here. Uh, do you know it, Dr. McKenzie? No, I don't. He that I can't dwelleth, believe it. Yeah, there it is. Uh huh. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Woo! Yes. Okay. I now. Of the Lord. Yes. He is okay. my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. And I know okay, you don't want now. me to read all of it, but it no. gives six, sixteen verses. Yeah. I understand. Thank you for the extra. Uh, so what we're saying is that you have to read it with. Uh, Impartation and power, because oh, it, is, it means it's a lot. I don't think you can. can you can't can do, do it like this. You can't do it like this. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't bet on the gospel, but well, let's let's just put it to the test. Hold on. Dwelleth. Dwelleth. 
in the secret places uh, of the Most High, uh, shall abide uh, under the shadow uh, of the Almighty. Uh, I will say to the Lord of the Lord, uh, he is my refuge uh, and my fortress, uh, my God, uh, in him will I trust. All right. So, uh, God. Oh, yay. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> so. Uh, she gets a hit. I don't get a hit. You challenged me, Pastor. <laughs> uh, I think I won. I came, I came, I came, I came through. Let me put it up I to the test here. What do you think, Dr. McKenzie? I came through for you on your birthday. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Dr. McKenzie Jr.? Well, what do I think? Somebody got their TV up high. I, I don't need well, you to say that on the air. Thank you. Who's with this one? Who's with this one? I'm following the rules, sir. Come on now. <laughs> it's <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> who, uh, who's with this one was better, sir? Neither one. Both of them were good. Oh, uh, he's. You must be a politician. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Okay. okay. It's well, not about uh, the good. De- it's not the delivery; it's the message that matters. Amen. Oh no, he, no, he did just just school me on air. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Well. You wanted to be roasted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be roasted. I didn't. I didn't expect to be my friend. My friend and compadre. I guess he got it. I love you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I said. The bomb make it make it feel better. <laughs> so, all right, uh, coming up, coming up sometime in the month of June, we will be talking about some very controversial subjects matter with myself and Dr. McKenzie. Uh, we will be talking about abortion. Oh my goodness! And uh, at some point, uh, if he is not afraid, uh, we will go into. The new phenomena, which is LBGTQ. Oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, so, you know, maintain your, your listening ear and uh, and pray for us as we go into the, the world of darkness to bring out some prisoners into the realm of light. Oh, yeah. All right. And so, again, www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash Elevation Radio 1. And this is also played again in the week on Wednesdays, I believe, in the morning, on the morning drive at www.positivepower21.org, uh, along with Spreaker and iHeartRadio and, uh, and globally. Good God of money. We didn't start globally, but we're, we're global, global now. And so, uh, Dr. McKenzie, are you uh, are you a uh, you're not a deacon? No, oh, no, sir, no, no. Uh, can you get a prayer through? Can you get a prayer through? Why are you cutting me off in the middle of my my question, sir? Ma'am, I have a special guest. Would like to give a shout out to you to say happy birthday. I'm, I'm closing the program out, so I don't have uh, the time oh. and now. Uh, let me go back into my, my question to my, my esteemed guest, celebrity co-host, Dr. McKenzie. Can you get a prayer through, sir? Can you say a short prayer for the listeners? <laughs> I apologize, sir. You are an author. Uh-huh. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Say, say that again? Can you give us a short prayer, sir? Yes. All the way from New Summer. Okay, you want me to close it, close the, close the show out in prayer? <laughs> God have mercy. I was trying yes, to say. Thought <laughs> you were church. You've been in church all your life. Come on, sir. I was. I have been. Oh, but you need to. <laughs> let me go. I was trying to get happy somebody's birthday. happy birthday. Yeah. I know. Oh. Right. I'm trying to do one thing at a time. You can't keep popping the guests on me. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We come again just to say thank you. We thank you for allowing uh, Pastor, Brother, 
Christy Turner to oh, celebrate another okay, birthday, right. dear Lord. We know that it's only by your grace, only by your mercy that you allow him to be and be here for another year, dear Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We give you all honor. We give you all glory. Continue yes. to be with him, to bless him, his wife, his family, and yes. all of those, dear Lord, and the impact that he is having yes. in and throughout the community. These and all of the yes. things we ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. It's not like a, it's not like an old digging, sir. Uh, <laughs> way back, way back in Buddy Hills of okay. Mississippi. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Again, we thank you for uh, participating in the double birthday broadcast and sharing the spotlight with us here at Elevation Radio One. We will endeavor to move, moving into new categories and territories. Thank you also, sir, for taking me to my medical appointment today and picking me back up. I uh, thank you. Uh, um, my goodness, uh, you, like family. Uh, so we, we appreciate that. Thank you, Sister Cheryl Inslee. Please, you got one more comment. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dinner. Can you stop okay. interrupting? Happy birthday. This, this procedure. Oh, she didn't say. Okay. You know, if we have tilapia, she usually gets tilapia. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's just close out now because people are yeah. ordering tilapia fish sandwiches. Garlic <laughs> butter, I think. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to hit the rules and regulations in the broadcast. Oh. <laughs> All right, so thank you for listening to Elevation Radio 1. Keep your head up, keep your head up, keep your head up, keep your head up and may God ever yeah. bless you. Uh, I guess it's a surprise and right. Yes. Back to today. Get, then if you get more meat, you got to take it back home. Uh, if you do that, then it got to come straight back home. You said 
that you do that, you're going to come straight back home? No, I said if I do that, then I have to come straight back home. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. I asked you to get ready so we just walk up. Let me ask you this question. Why isn't she over here today? Roberta. I, I said my granddaughter. I don't care where she is. She can work it out where they can bring her, bring her to me. But not an offer to have can't do that because of her. Oh, because Yeah, but Margaret could do it. Oh. <laughs>
Thank you. 